Hey everyone, Nick Diobertis here teaching you financial modeling. And today we're going to be solving the lab exercise on adding sensitivity analysis to the Project 1 Excel model. So this is the lab exercise, which is part of the Exploring the Parameter Space lecture series, which is located at the end of the Excel section of the lecture. So here we're going to take our existing Excel model from project one. And we want to see how the MPB changes when the number of machines and the initial demand change. And so we're going to do a one way data table for each of those and graph each of those. And we're going to do a two way data table as well with both at once adding conditional formatting on that. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump over to the Excel model. And I'm going to go fairly quickly through this because we did cover the exact same process already in the lecture with the dynamic salary retirement model. It's just different numbers here, but same exact process. Um, so first we want to evaluate uh, when the um, number of machines changes. And so we're going to do a one-way data table. And so we're going to reference the number of machines here. Um, and we can look at one, two, three, four, and five machines. And so then we're going to add the data table and we're gonna do that as a column input cell because these are going in a column and click number of machines. Um, and whoops, I was supposed to reference uh, the MPV here, not the um, number of machines. So an MPV here at the top, number of machines here. And now we have the MPV coming here as well. Um, and so we would want to add some formatting on it. Let's make it currency formatting. We don't really need these decimals. Um, and this is going to be number of machines uh, versus MPV. Um, so going to set that up there and you would want to add table formatting to this as well. This is my machines. And we're going to make this one white. Um, and then we can go and do the same for our other input, which is the initial demand. So I'm going to, again, reference the MPV here and then um, I'm going to reference, or sorry, I'm going to write out the values for initial demand that I want to look at. So the baseline is 50,000. Maybe I'll start with uh, 25,000, and then I'll go up to 50,000, and um, look at those increments up to 200,000. So then again, insert the data table, uh, column input, cell, because it's in a column. That's going to be the initial demand. Uh, now we get the MPV values there. We can then apply formatting to them um, and add our label here as well. Um, this would be initial demand versus MPV. Uh, go and hide this cell. And this is demand. And so now we can create the graphs of each of those. So let's highlight uh, these data and we can insert recommended chart. Uh, let's do line chart um, and make this a little smaller. Um, so this is going to be, again, this same number of machines versus MPV. Um, and it would be good to put the axis labels on here as well. So this is going to be M machines, and this is going to be the MPV. And then we can see very clearly that the MPV increases with additional machines, but that drops off quickly as you add more machines. And let's do the same thing with the demand insert recommended chart. Um, let's stick with the line here. Um, and we can see that increasing demand also increases the MPV, but uh, it doesn't seem to have nearly as big of an effect. 
or it has a much more linear effect um, than the number of machines. Um, so this one is initial demand versus MPV. Um, and we're going to add the access titles on here as well um, with the demand versus the MPV. I make this a little wider because the numbers are kind of falling on each other. There we go. That's clear. Um, and now we can go to do our two-way data table. So can reference again the MPV. Um, and then we can get the number of machines going down the row. Uh, demand can, uh, let's see, paste transpose that to get the, uh, to get it going in a row the demand, um, and now I can, or sorry, this needs to go, all needs to go down one, uh, so that the MPV is in the corner cell, and then you can highlight all this, add the data table, the row input cell is going to be the initial demand, the column input cell is going to be the number of machines, uh, hit OK, it does that calculation, we can then add formatting on all these numbers, um, so going over to currency formatting, taking off those decimal places, uh, wait, demand is not a currency. I can go back to general. Um, and so now we have the MPV across all these different combinations of demand and number of machines. Now we can add the conditional formatting here on the home tab, um, and higher MPV is good. So that first color scale is going to be correct. And of course, when you have the highest number of machines and the most demand, you have the highest MPV. Um, and we can see that um, when the demand is really low, increasing the number of machines does not help you. You need to have kind of both things going together for it to make sense to scale up the number of machines. So, you know, then you would just want to add some additional formatting on here, add, you know, a header for this. Uh, column, row labels, just like the completed example that you can find on the course site for adding sensitivity analysis to the dynamic salary retirement model. I'm just going to skip that here in the interest of time, but that's those formatting is definitely something that you should have on here as well. So that wraps up this lab exercise. So thanks for listening and see you next time.